Okay, um, I got to tell you how uh, in Japan, how I started working in show business and in TV and radio. Okay, it's a long story. I'll make it quick. I worked in Los Angeles as an assistant to the world famous Rodney Bingenheimer, 1980 to 1981. Then I came to Japan and um, I wanted to work at, in TV or radio or something like that. And so one morning I, I said to my wife, hey, let's watch these kids shows on in the morning and see like who the director or producer is. And so she said, okay, so we watched this TV show. And um, <clears throat> uh, at the end of the show, we, she wrote down the director's and name and everything. And I said, okay, tell me where this place is. So I, <clears throat> I uh, wrote everything down and I got in a uh, train and went down to TV Tokyo and I went to TV Tokyo and you know you just can't walk into a TV station um, even back in those days so but um, I walked in and the girls looked at me and they just pointed me to this this uh, panel by the door and it said auditions English teacher auditions here so I went down to where the stairs was I didn't know this was going on. I went down to where the stairs was, and there was like seven guys there auditioning for this um, job as an English teacher on a kid's show. And um, I I thought, okay, all right, yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm here for that. And they're like, what's your name? Nah, you don't have my name on there. I think they forgot. And I made some excuse like that. And these other people were auditioning, and um, uh, I watched them, and they were all really stiff. And some of them weren't even native English speakers, but they were really stiff, like, hi, we're going to teach English today. And so I thought, oh, this is my big chance. I'm going to go in there and wow them. And I went up there, hey, kids, how's it going? We're going to learn English. And I was jumping around the room and things like that. And um, that's how I got the job. And I hadn't been in Japan for one month. Well, no, it was like exactly one month I had been in Japan and within one month of being in Japan, I had landed myself a regular on a TV Tokyo, Tokyo nationally broadcast show called Ohio Stadio. And the host of the show is a guy named Shiga-san and uh, a famous singer at the time um, named, what was her name, honey? Jessica? Ayasa, that's right. Sorry, I forgot. And anyways, this, is, this has led to a lot of other really cool stuff, and I'll tell you about it tomorrow.